This presentation is part of a workshop, Voicing Indigenous Food Sovereignty Struggles, which has been organized by the project Indigenous Food Systems in Transition, financed by Future Food at the Swedish University for Agricultural Sciences. Furthermore, the workshop was organized in collaboration with Case Study 18 of the Horizon 2020 Finance Project Just North. You are welcome to listen to the lecture. Now we are all three here, uh, Robin Eriksson and uh, Isaac Falk Eliasson, who have been um, working uh, <clears throat> with a, a project uh, um, for their uh, uh, bachelor thesis on Sami food within the regional food strategies. And um, this uh, has been a, a, a project um, initiated by Slow Food Sapmi as um, part of this um, uh, future food uh, uh, project that holds, holds this um, uh, workshop also. Um, and um, uh, the idea was uh, to uh, look into the uh, regional uh, food strategies in the northmost um, parts of uh, Sweden uh, and how these uh, take on board the issues of, uh, of Sami food producers. Um, and uh, we have uh, uh, our Isaac and Robin has been uh, the investigators in, in this uh, uh, research and um, uh, they, they will uh, uh, soon uh, present uh, the results. So if you can move, Isaac. Um, and food strategies are very important instruments for democratic governance. Um, they are to identify key problems and solutions for future regions. And therefore, it's a very important uh, um, um, governance instrument to uh, create, uh, to, to decide on, uh, on directions for future uh, opportunities for support and development of branches and activities. So how is uh, Sami food represented? Um, uh, we had a, a joint uh, a point of departure in social justice uh, theories that um, uh, um, based, um, uh, have the question how, is, uh, how uh, resources are distributed, if they are um, equally distributed, how people participate in uh, creation of these uh, uh, strategies and how uh, different groups' uh, interests are recognized. So these are the three key justice questions. And uh, we, we used um, uh, Carol Bartsch's um, um, method to uh, look at how problem is presented in these documents and how these um, uh, um, uh, ways of representing problems exclude other uh, uh, important issues that concern Sami food. So I leave, leave, leave the floor to Isaac and Robin, please continue. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so uh, supported by Ildiko and Isabel and with a lot of invaluable help from, from Anneli and uh, Ella Karin at Slow Food Sapmin as I said. Me and Isaac took a closer look, or uh, as close as Corona allowed us, uh, on the food strategy processes in Westerbotten, in Isaac's case, and in Norrbotten, in uh, my case. So that resulted in these two bachelor theses that you can find on Epsilon Desalu. Um, main actors in these processes has been the county administrative boards, the regions, the Federation of Swedish Farmers, LRF, and in Norrbotten also the municipalities. Um, both Norrbotten and Westerbotten has worked with widely attended workshops. They have really made an effort to, to actively outreach to, towards presumed relevant actors. 
and uh, emphasizing that uh, everyone is invited on equal terms. Vesterbotten have chosen to, to work with a more formal referral process as the main method, while Norrbotten focused more on a common learning approach where anchoring has been a, a key word. Now, after we wrote the thesis, also Norrbotten choose to, to work with, with some uh, strategy documents on referral, should be noted. Hmm. Can we move on? Right. Um, so I'll just go into the results. Um, so we've looked at these two strategies and um, we've looked at how they present solutions and which means that we looked at how they describe the, the problems or the situation. Uh, and we've looked at how the Sami community and Sami food interests are represented. And when the document's done, we've looked at what's left out. So we call these the silences. Um, the, 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 the problem underlying these, um, these objectives and the strategies they are, or the objectives are to, to increase production overall, um, regionally, and to better public health, to increase regional self-sufficiency and uh, competitiveness in the region, and also to create a sustainable development, uh, which means both to, to that the strategies should should help to create jobs regionally, but it, it also means that all actors in the region have to coexist and they have to coexist, like the, the food interest also has to coexist with other interests in the region. So this could mean that it has to coexist with, uh, for example, the expansion of uh, energy, the energy sector in uh, Northern Sweden stuff like that but these many of these come also they come from the national strategy um, but not all but both all of this is kind of common to both Vesterbotten and Norrbotten and we've looked at the Sami and Sami food how is this incorporated into these strategies well the, the Sami sphere it needs to strengthen its, its trademarks um, to increase its competitiveness somehow it, it should increase production and uh, like also like Andrea said earlier that perhaps not the the physical amount is possible to increase but if not then uh, the idea is to increase the uh, the surplus value or to refine the product somehow get more value from it um, and like I said, the, the coexistence in the sustainable development. So this is a quote from Norbotten, where um, someone said, reindeer herding demands large land areas and to coexist with other interests. So there's, um, there's a lot of things to talk about here, but um, when we've looked at these strategies, some things we, we see as silences or some things that are not, they don't uh, come out as much as other things. So. In a, we see that innovation, the idea of innovation is prioritized over um, traditional knowledge or traded knowledge, which is called arberiecto. Um, and that economy is prioritized over nutrition um, somehow. And uh, there's a, another quote from Norbotten where one of our uh, the people that we interviewed said, should one sell one's cultural heritage or should one conserve it and keep it for oneself? So there's also this um, struggle between storytelling uh, and owning your own culture. How do you balance those things? Uh, the reindeer grazing areas, the exploitation of these areas is more or less taken for granted um, because of sustainable development and coexistence with other interests. There's also a narrow view of what Sami food culture is. It's mainly focused on reindeer meat. Um, and there's also like a failure to acknowledge specific needs that could be relevant for the Sami community in these strategies. Uh, the main, they're mainly supposed to depend on general support systems. 
I'll just mention um, a few examples, but there, there are much more examples in the text. So this is not, not perfect examples, but this example is just to show that we have the steering group in Vestabottom, which was the Agricultural Association, uh, LRF, and the regional uh, and the, the county board. So these two instruments, political instruments. And this is just to show that the people that are in the steering group, they do influence what is written and how it's written. So this is the quote from, from the strategy. And it talks about how Vestbotten is it's covered by forest, but at some places, we humans are able to break up the forest and create open landscapes in which we thrive. Um, and there's also throughout the strategy, there's a big connection between agriculture and biodiversity, which is, for example, it's not at all as strong between uh, reindeer herding and biodiversity. It's mentioned, but this, it's it's obvious that the the people in writing the strategy they do influence and they do portray some things and it could have been portrayed otherwise if some actors would have been in these um, groups and just another example so here's on one page in the Vestibotten strategy they list certifications food certifications uh, that could be on food products and the uppermost is from LRF from this agricultural association. It's called From Sweden. Below it is, is a brand from um, Vestbotten, then Krav, and the EU Leaf, Fair Trade, MSC. And at the bottom is a brand from the county board, which is called Local Food. It's a new one. But in the text, they also talk about small scale food um, handicraft. And they actually mentioned this other, this other. A certification called Eldrimner, but it's not, it doesn't end up here. And I also noticed that uh, SSR, Swedish um, uh, Sami Association or Association Right Union, um, that they also have their own brand or their own trademark brand, which is called Renlika. And it's trademarked for 10 years, I think, in, in the EU. But also, they're not able to influence the strategy enough to maybe get their brand in there. So there are a lot of examples like this. Um, like land needs are not as expressed as they are for agriculture, for example. Um, there's food infrastructure needs that are not, uh, I, I don't think that they are proportionally expressed. Like also like what Andreas talked about earlier, that like the necessity of a, getting a slaughterhouse or transportation needs, or maybe needs to you need some infrastructure to refine your food. Um, the agricultural sphere has a lot more of this. Um, and other requests are things like this, reindeer meat in the public sector. Um, I don't, okay, yeah. Um, and re, yeah, requests for more research on reindeer matters. And uh, you know, there's occupational injuries in, in it as well. And at the end, I just wanted to say that there have been two referrals in in Vestibotum, um, one from Sametting it and a joint one from uh, Slow Food Sapmi and SSR. And we, I do see that they have they have looked at these and incorporated them. So they do look at the referrals and uh, take in some things from them. But of course, not not all. So Robin, would you like to continue? Yes, thank you. So. Well, then why is, is, is uh, Sami left out of the problem representation? It's, we, I think we do both believe that, that, that a lot of the, the actors, they express a, a genuine will to, to include uh, the Sami, but, um, but still somehow um, the outcome uh, becomes exclusion. So the ex explanations, I think we, we thought we found is perhaps interacting frameworks, lack of recognition, lack of resources, a presumed double nature of the Sami parliament, as well as a hegemonic development discourse. So let's move on to talk a bit more about those. Um, I think it's important to acknowledge that a food strategy do not appear out of nowhere. 
it's it's embedded in a in a multi-scale institutional landscape where food is a commodity dealt on an open inner European Union market, as well as on a, on a global, global scale. The national food strategy is to a large extent informing the regional processes. And also on, on regional level, there's a lot of different strategies in different sectors and uh, indigenous perspectives in a, is in a lot of way holistic and, and that do not always work particularly well to, to be dealt with in, in different separate sectors. Um, of importance is, of course, also the local contexts. Um, informed by Nancy Fraser's conditions for equal participation, the intersubjective criteria is about having one's perspective recognized. In the process, it has to be uh, it has been pronounced that no one is to, to receive any special treatment. No one is being given so-called gredfil. By equating the same invitation, saying in, the same invitation is the same thing as the same opportunity. One ignores that different actors has different backgrounds, different aims, different values, and different preconditions. The indigenous perspective is not provided representation in either in either steering or project group. So no alternative perspective is really acknowledged. Everyone is in the same boat, as the actors say. And therefore, they also adhere to the same representation of the problem. And, and the consequences of this is, is, is a ignorance of historical context. It's acknowledging Sami as actors and not as right holders. And it's also a, a reproduction of a, of a dominant narrative. Can move on? Thanks. Um, Fraser's objective criteria puts the finger on, on access to resources, that you need to have resources enough to, to have an independent voice and, and be able to take independent action. And politically, that's an issue of distribution. Sami participation they cannot rely on, on any significant base financing. The Slow Food Sapmi is, is selling books at some events to be able to finance their presence uh, in the process. And there is no apparent strategy to, to facilitate Sami participation on the level of, of design in the process. A lot of fingers is then pointed towards the Sami parliament and governmental agency, Sametinget. Sametinget states that they participate in these processes through a referral system, where when they are asked, they will be giving uh, feedback. But participation in these process, processes are not prioritized, mainly because of budget constraints, they say but they also refer to Sami NGOs as the ones supposed to propagate Sami interests and do the so-called heavy lifting. Being a state-regulated administrative agency in hands of civil servants answering to a state department, um, at the same time being an elected parliament to decide on strategic matters, I think there is a lot of questions raised um, about accountability and rep representation um, in summiting it. And the limited agency for independence almost seems to be um, by state design. Um, overarching the whole process is a way of thinking, talking, and imagining development that takes shape of a hegemonic discourse. It shapes institutional frameworks. It shapes uh, politics of distribution, recognition of perspectives, what can be done, what is knowledge, what can be imagined uh, within the policy processes. And we think that maybe analysis of representations of problems and conditions of social justice can help us a little bit to understand how policy is shaped by this discourse. Yeah, and I think that's it. It's almost exactly 20 minutes now. Mm -hmm. So I'll say, I'll close the, the sharing and say mm -hmm. thank you.